Hello everyone, so today I have been given a very good mouse. Uh, I've been given the Model O Minus, and I'd like to give a big shout out to Invertical for giving me this mouse for me to review. Uh, his channel will be in the description. But anyway, I've been wanting to use this mouse for a long time, and it seemed like a very good mouse because it's lightweight. I like smaller mice. It's just overall very good. It's got RGB, everything. Um, and so when I got my hands on it, it uh, I was very surprised actually. So with this mouse, uh, it's just like every other mouse. It's got some nice mouse skates. It comes with uh, hyperglides. Uh, already got PTFE feet on it. Comes like that. Uh, it's very like user friendly, I guess. It has lights. Has these like lights on the bottom. I'll try and show it if it wants to focus. But these lights can help tell you your DPI. You can search it up. I mean like. Blue light, green light, red light, they all mean different things. It just helps you know what type of DPI you're on. Or you can use the program to change it as well. Overall, very good mouse. And it's like, it's very cheap too. Or cheap for a mouse. It's like 50 something dollars. And compared to other mouses, or compared to other mice, this is a very good mouse. And I do have both pros and cons about it. Um, first of all, with the pros, lightweight obviously very nice the honeycomb isn't bad at all it doesn't hurt at all to have my hands on you can throw it around easily it's got very nice wire um the scroll wheel is very nice it's got nice rgb which doesn't like it the mouse isn't heavy at all as i said uh overall the mouse buttons very good uh overall i love it very good mouse now the cons depending on type of person you are i'm 14 Hands are not fully grown yet, and my hand goes completely over the mouse. You can see right here. See, like, like this. My fingers go over the mouse. Now, if you like that, then this is your mouse. Um, usually, when I play, I sometimes feel like this, or even like this. Not really that. So it's not like this, sort of, around here. But whenever I usually play games, I play with all my hand, with my fingers all the way down. So my fingers do go over it. Which is not my favorite feeling, but it does feel like I have more control over the mouse. Um, another con is that sometimes when you can get your mouse and the wire is like stuck in a certain way. Like I'll pull mine out. See how it kind of goes like a curve? It's stuck like that. So I can turn like this. It'll be curved. You can straighten it out. Do whatever you want. You can When you move it around again, it'll get stuck just like that. And sometimes you can move your mouse up and it'll get stuck sometimes. You can put your mouse over it and it like stops it and it I've died a lot of times because of it so what I would recommend is either making like some type of like a tape bungee or something like that with tape or you could just get an official mouse bungee but if you're going to use this mouse I would 100% recommend that you buy a mouse bungee with it because if you don't you could get one of these stuck wires and like it's very annoying you can like hit it sometimes it's it is horrible but besides that it's very it's a very nice mouse i love this mouse overall um over the g pro kind of similar i guess you can see i'm lining them up just like that they're like almost the same size but the model o is a bit more like flat i guess you could say the G Pro has a big hump on the back. I don't know how I can show it. Yeah, G Pro's got a giant hump. So you can really feel this right here. And uh, this, uh, it's it's a lot easier to grip, obviously. Um, one other thing is that this is made out of a material that, like, your hand can easily grip to. And I've never really experienced any gripping issues with it. But compared to other mouses, though... Like the G Pro Super Light or G Pro Wireless, they matter the same material. Um, when I first wake up, sometimes uh, my hand like slips. You can see, um, so I have to like use it and like play a couple games until like my hands can like stay on it. Cause like on my first warm games, it'll be like I'll be playing, and my hand will, like slip off like that. Very annoying. This mouse never did that. Very happy. So, if you're looking for a budget mouse that, like, is very light, you can use for, like, Fortnite, Valorant, any type of lightweight gaming, you can want to throw it around. 
very nice i would 100 percent recommend this mouse or you could get the model o normally which is like they're almost the same price except the model is a bit larger and this comes in black and white and i think pink now you can make it matte or glossy it being glossy is a bit uh makes it a bit heavier and a lot of stains stay on it i like the matte a lot more it's just overall just a nicer grip the Model O uh, Minus is 58 grams, which is the same weight as the Ninja Air 58. This one is a bit smaller, though, than the Air 58. But I would recommend this a lot more than Air 58 since uh, that mouse is like $300 and this is 50 Now, compared to the Model O, uh, the matte Model O, which is the same material as this, is 67 grams, which that that light of a mouse you can't really tell the difference i would only get this mouse based on the size so the length is 120 millimeters uh compared to the model o which is 128 uh and the width is 63 compared to the model o 66 and the height is 36 millimeters compared to the model o is 37.5 this is mouse this mouse is just a little bit smaller than the normal model o but if you are younger and your hands are a bit smaller, I would definitely recommend this mouse over the normal Model O, but it's completely up to preference. Um, I'm going to show some gameplay, gameplay clips, and I hope you guys enjoy. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. Yo, good job, Killjoy. I mean, yeah, I mean, good job, uh, Riz. You were barely worth the effort. Oh, okay, they're this trash, man. Yeah. Cutting their vision. Cutting through. Come on, let's go! Uh, Who's Decoy. One enemy remaining. Still in sight. One hell, I think, or one close hell. Spike planted. Last player standing. Finished. Oh my god, Drop, you're such a pro player. Look at you getting a f kill with an ADS scope. Thank you. Aww, hit the clutch, hit the clutch. You won't, you won't. No balls. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's so good. Thank I actually just so talented. Clutch. Like, what is he looking he at? The player. He's he's looking at his non-existent girlfriend. I'm actually silver one. <laughs> yo, yo, I'm iron. <sighs> one enemy remaining. I'm planting. I'm planting. <sighs> One enemy remaining. I know, bro. Enemy spotted. Really, Elk, you're trying to win? GG. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video. I would just once again give a big shout out to Invertical for giving me this mouse for me to review. I've been wanting to put it on my channel for a long time, and without him, I wouldn't have not been able to do it. Anyway, go subscribe to him. He makes good content. Um, anyway, this mouse, recommend. Final rating, 9 out of 10. This mouse is outstanding. And if you are on a budget or just need a lightweight mouse, this is the way to go. Not no final mouse. Don't buy the final mouse because other people are saying it. I have experience with the final mouse. This is the mouse you want to get. This thing is great. And if there's any issues, uh, the glorious support team, great people. Um... So, I would totally recommend getting this, and if they don't cover something and you can't fix it, 
the replacement is not $300. This is $50. So I totally recommend this. Anyway, the giveaway for the Super Light is still out. And um, when we hit 10K, I'll start it up. And hopefully we get um, hope we get some winners. Anyway, good luck on the giveaway. That's starting very soon. Don't know when. When we hit 10K, I'll start it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hope you have a great rest of your day.